Okay, in this video, I wanted to do um, a kind of a quick recap on sequences that you would have met at GCSE. Um, and there may yet still be more of it that you uh, will remember from GCSE in the following videos as well. Um, so hopefully we can cover all of that and then make sure that we can extend it a little bit further. So I've written down two sequences here. And with sequences like this, quite often you're asked to find uh, the nth term. So let's say I want to find the nth term. And from that, I then want to find um, the hundredth term, for example. OK, what is the hundredth term of these sequences? So for this first one, we've got 2, 9, 16, 23 and 30. And probably one of the first things that you've been taught to do was to make sure that you figure out what it's going up in each time. OK, that's always a good shout. And because this is uh, going up in a constant fashion, this is uh, going up in sevens. That means that we have a linear uh, sequence here. And so the nth term would be 7n. This number goes in front of the n. And then how do we get from 7 back to 2? Well, we've got to take away 5. So 7n minus 5 is the nth term of this sequence. And we could write down the nth term as being un. OK, so u1 is 2. u2 is 9. u3 is 16, etc. OK. So the hundredth term would be u100, which would be seven lots of 100, take away five. So 695, OK? And that's how you can work out uh, the hundredth term for number one. Now, number two has 2, 3, 6, 11, 18. So the fact that we're going up in one there, then we're going up in threes, and then we're going up in with a five, and then with a seven, because we don't have that constant uh, that we're adding on each time, that means it's going to be a little bit more complicated. OK, so we go into another row and say, well, this is going up in twos because we've got one, three, five, seven. They're going up in twos. And that row being two uh, meant that there would be an n squared as part of the nth term. So what we need to think about here, OK, so we're going to have this n squared plus something because it is this number here that gets halved, and then that is the coefficient of the n squared. Now, the way to move forward from this is to then think, well, OK, um, if this is my first term, that's my second term, third, fourth, and fifth, then n squared would be 1, then 4, then 9, then 16, then 25, OK? And what we do is we say, right, well, whatever this is, I'm going to get this sequence and then take that one away from it and see what I've got left over. So I've got one take away two is minus one. I've got four take away three is one. Nine take away six is three. Sixteen take away eleven is five. And then 25 take away 18 is seven. So here we see that we've got a linear sequence because we're adding twos each time. This guy here has itself an nth term. And the nth term for this sequence would be 2n and then take away, OK, how do we get from 2 back to minus 1? We've got to take away 3, OK? So we did the n squared, right? take away the nth term for this sequence. So we've got 2n, and it was 2 to get to minus 1. We had to take away 3. OK, so we did this sequence, take away that one, and that's what we got left with. OK, and so this is n squared minus 2n plus 3. That 
is my nth term. So just to double check, okay, let's say n is 5, we get 5 squared is 25, take away 10 is 15, plus 3 makes the 18. Okay, so that is the nth term for this sequence. So now I can say, right, well, the hundredth term will be 100 squared, take away two lots of 100, plus 3. Okay, so I'm going to let the calculator deal with that. 100 squared, if I'm in the correct mode, 100 squared, take away two lots of 100, plus 3, gets me 9,803. And that is the hundredth term for that sequence, okay? So hopefully these skills are um, relatively fresh for you, but, but hopefully this is a memory jogger just to remind you of how these things worked.